Hey, what's up, sub? How's it going? Here I am again. This time I have Sony TCK 670. Uh, it's not working. You, you can hear some motor noise inside, but I know it's probably a belt for a start. And I did unscrew the four screws, two on the left, two on the right side. So now I got it opened and we can see what's going on there. Uh, this is a kind of simple deck to work on. There are not so much screws that you need to unscrew to get the transport out. There are two here and two at the bottom. Hope you can hear it, you can see it. Yeah. Let's do the first, those two. And then we can do the other two. Then what's left is to unhook a couple of cables and then we can get our transfer out. So we can see what's going on there. Since I already worked on machine like this and some other Sony decks are pretty much the similar thing I think it's not gonna be a problem <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem the problem could be that I don't have original belts that I'll have to maybe improvise something but if the deck is working we can then order proper belts so let's see what else we need to do here now i got my mechanism uh, unscrewed but because i cannot open the the tape it's gonna be a problem you see we need to remove this cover that cover plastic cover needs to be removed and the motor is not engaging and i cannot open the door So, that's kind of an issue. And uh, let me see if I can do something from this side. I just need to release the hook. Uh, oh, look, I don't have to. This is crazy, man. <laughs> look, look, it's coming out even with this plastic. So maybe I'm gonna be able, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna unhook those. That's crazy, man. Maybe I can pull this transport out with this cover. Otherwise, I'll have to find a way to open the door and remove the door cover. But anyway, we have three more uh, cables to unhook and those are kind of um, tricky. They're all for heads. You have to pull it from the bottom. This one goes smoothly. Let's try a red one. Oh yeah. But the last time this one gave me a trouble. Let's see if this time is gonna be better. Oh, much better, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got all the cables unhooked. And now maybe I can try to pull the mechanism out. Gently, softly. I know it should be without the, the cover. Then it could go much more smoothly let me see what's going on here maybe this cable is in the wrong position ah. uh, it's, it goes normally without this cover but with the cover it doesn't do normally let me see what we can do here can I remove the cover like this yes 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 I remove the cover now it can go much more smoothly yeah you should maybe try to remove the front panel first and stuff like that i know but this is much faster so now we can remove this chassis and work only on the transport 
Alright. This is our patient for tonight. Okay, now we can start disassemble this thing. Uh, I believe all belts needs to be replaced. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So this means, oh my God, they're old. They're all gone, except this one. This one is calling <laughs> the last man standing. Anyway, let's start with the game. Look at this spring here. That spring needs to be removed. Let me see if this can do it or I need something else. Oh yes, the spring is removed and it's gonna be placed on a proper place. So I cannot lose it. Then we can remove this plate, metal plate here, right? And then we have this door basically disassembled. So we're gonna keep it in a safe place. Now, next thing is turning on the other side. We can a little bit release those wires, head wires. Then you can see we have three screws to unscrew. One is here, one is hidden here, and one is here, right? This one here is really long. Okay, I'll try to keep it like this so it cannot be... I don't want to flatten it down because we have those sensitive switches here, you know. Those sensitive switches can be easily ruined if you put the old weight on them. So watch out about that. Keep it on this side. Now we have two, sc oh, oh, two screws there kind of tighten which means that nobody else besides me try to open this neck <laughs> i believe this factory ma manufactured and now it's opened again mm -hmm. this man magnetic screwdriver should remove those screw yes now we're gonna remove this part <clears throat> i'm gonna uh, remove it from the board so we can inspect what's going on here the remaining of this belt if it's not too gooey i may be able to just unwind it like this which would help because because if it's totally gooey and if it's totally gone, we're gonna have to clean it up with uh, extensive equipment. So far, it's going, <laughs> going good. All right, all right. But now it's getting me issues. It's spinning the motor and it doesn't want to come off. Ah, and I, I thought I was lucky. Yes, I thought. But hey. We still have a chance. It's not totally gooey, so I'll give it a try. Maybe I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just need a little bit more of it. Ah. It's gone. It's gone. No, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Oh yeah. I'm so lucky. So now, first thing first, I would use still a little bit of goo gun, which is like a special gel for uh, removing residue from all kind of shit. And then I would use a isopropyl alcohol to finish the cleaning of this part. 
So I'm just gonna use, you know, like a cotton swab, spray it a little bit on the top of it. Yeah, I got this paper so it cannot go the other way and I'm gonna clean it. It is a dirty job, but trust me, this was very successful because usually it would have a bunch of, you know, sticky residue there. Right now we are doing great. Yes, yes, yes. gonna be white and clean and yeah that's what you want to see All right. so that's the thing that is kind of the part that is ready that is serviced anyway before I would go any further because sometimes I would forget to oil the motor so to oil the motor you would have to pull this a little bit up then stick your needle here and oil it up a little bit you have to be careful because you don't want to you know you don't want to oil anywhere besides the motor inside so yeah it is a kind of tricky operation that's why I need like a this almost like a needle thing then you will spin your motor spin 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 of course cleaning from all of this thing yeah I would suggest to spin your motor like for a 30 seconds or something you can do both direction and then after you're done with all that, then you can use uh, like a uh, alcohol and clean the rest of it. Okay. I put some alcohol here. I got some message from my Brave browser. If you are not familiar with the Brave browser, you can watch anything on internet without advertising. But sometimes they would offer you to watch some page ad whatever so you can you know like a, ah, at least give it, give them something which is kind of nice and that was the sound like watch this ad and the ad was because became a web 3 developer today <laughs> and the, some name that I, uh, word that I don't know what it is crypto I never heard for crypto I heard for crypto I know what the crypto is but crypto is a new thing for me well, that was the easy part. That was the easy part. And because I have the old belt still running, I'm just gonna check it. Believe it or not, this belt is still in good condition. How can I check that? Oh yeah, it's not the best, but it's still in good condition. I would replace it if I have a new one. But this this belt would spin more, can work more. Let's see. Before, I'm gonna make just a simple test. I'm just gonna clean all those wheels, you know. I'm just gonna clean them. one and the other one and then i'm gonna clean the bell with isopropyl alcohol and put it back and just to see if any if it's you know anything is better i mean it needs to be replaced but it's still not you know like a stretchy you know like a memory stretch as soon as i put it back it's there so that's why I'm telling you it's still maybe in working condition. It is, but it's a little bit loose. Mm -hmm. I mean, luckily, I think I got the belt like this. I think. 
when you put the better belt let's see oh yeah it's loose it's gone i can feel it's gone when you put a better belt i can do this you know like uh, this belt could still work but i'll try to find a better one a new one i mean a new better one <laughs> but we just started that's the issue so i'm gonna remove the belt that was my like a test i'm gonna switch it again on this side so now we're gonna we have to unscrew two other screws so we can remove this plate this is one screw here and this is the other one oh yeah so now we can pull up this a little bit up and then remove this plate and then you know carefully remove it because we have a cable that will lead up the backlight now we are inside we can see that it's pretty much clean and it's cool because i don't want this thing to you know hang out hanging like this i'm gonna remove it luckily we can do it easily yeah i'll put it away yeah so the thing is both of these wheels can be removed right now and you have to watch out for those washers here you see that transparent washer you just pull up pull the a little bit back wheel and grab the washer and put the washer on the safe space you can um, they're not the same one is smaller one is bigger because one wheel is bigger and the pinch is a little bit thicker so the other one also just put it pull it a little bit back then you can see how can i reach it and remove it that's the another one and i'm telling you this one is smaller exactly as the wheel is smaller so yeah that would be it now the next thing would be uh, removing the pinch rollers you can use your finger to unscrew this one if it doesn't work you can use a little bit of screwdriver or something all right now you got it and this is a tricky part but because this is also an adjustment that's why it's screwed like this so after you finish all this job you'll have to adjust this for the sound to be good it's almost like adjusting the azimuth so watch out the plastic part very small then we have this one the whole part and then we have one spring at the back so you have to watch out all those parts not to be lost somewhere taking it off you see not this spring this spring will stay here okay the other one there is one more spring here you see so all those parts are i have to remove it because when i flip it it's gonna be lost that one was like that this one could be a little bit easier because you don't have to unscrew and adjust anything i just need to find a proper tool to remove it hmm. maybe this tweezer will work oh yeah it's gonna work all right now i can remove it put it on the safe space safe space now we got it naked now what is this all about let's switch to the uh, other side this plate is basically you have to screw one two three four screws to get that plate out 
there is why we are doing this there is a tiny small belt that is for fast forward and rewind and that belt is probably i saw it that it's gone so we need to uh, find that belt and replace it that's the belt that i probably i don't have but maybe i have it anyway i'll try at least i'm gonna know what's the problem okay fourth so this would be the fourth one so i'll hold the plate from the back because it's gonna yeah it will be easily removed now yeah we don't need that plate right now okay i'm just gonna yeah yeah no belts the belt is gone we, now we have four screws but before we do those four screws there is a tricky part on the other side you see this part that is moving left right left right left right there is a it's connected from the back so i need to remove it from here we got a not washer but some kind of secured looks like a washer but it's whatever it is i don't know the proper name for it but you know stopper washer whatever it is i got it i took it off <laughs> and it's tiny small when you see my finger and that thing anyway this thing is coming off all right and put it somewhere in the safe place and now we can unscrew the last screws while it's here uh oh i told myself not to okay okay i think they're still good i told myself do not press there one screw is here they're all long ones, so no mistake here. One is here. Okay. It's coming off now. It's gone. There you go. And the other two are here. That's one. And this is the last one. Oh yeah. Now we can flip it. See? This is what we don't want to see. The part of the belt. And the rest of it is on the wheel of the motor, of course. I mean, it is what it is. I would expect that at some moment and if that's the only problem, I'm fine with it. If there are no other mechanical problems, I'm fine with it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Let's see how that's gonna be. Before I'm gonna work on that, I'm just gonna check this part. You see, I'm gonna pull this one out, this gear, and this is the other gear. And this is the gear where that rubbery belt goes. And if you can see, there are no residue on it, which is perfectly great. Which means that all I need to do right now is to, to take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and to clean that uh, just a little bit. I can use a cotton swab, but it's too thick for this delicate small so i'm using my the end, edge of my tweezers and a little bit of you know bounty with a isopropyl alcohol so now i know that thi that thing is you know like a clean i can put it back this one i'm not going to put it back because we still need to put the belt back but the problem is the belt is stuck Let's see if we can pull back this. Oh, no, no, no. This is gooey, you see? 
we can do the same thing. This is goo. What I'm gonna do right now, well, I'm gonna take those small pieces of bounty and I'm gonna grab as much as I could from each take. See? From each take. I got something. Let's do it again. And then the rest will be cotton swab cleaning, stuff like that. That's, it is what it is. That's why this is the worst job when you're fixing those decks. Those belts, some of it can last 50 years, some of it cannot, and that's it. Oh yeah, it's awful. And that's the worst, you know, like a part of the job. <laughs> you spend the most of the time of this shit. <laughs> well, as I said, if it's working when you finish, that's fine. I'm fine. Uh, you know, like, all right. But it's not going to work if you spend all that time for nothing. Uh, that's the, that's the sad part. Gooey gooey. So, yeah. Now we are entering in the second zone. A lot of alcohol, but maybe I should go with a goo goo gone. But the thing is to remove the first layer. Mm hmm. Now I'm coming back for the second <laughs> and it's gonna be, I hope, much less. OMG, it's the worst possible thing. Yes, I know. Okay. I still see a lot of goo inside. So I found that I'm getting better result if I use like, um, you know, small screwdriver, of course, put a lot of alcohol on it and try with, because the, the, the cotton swabs are kind of thick. And this thing will pick up more. Ah. You could take off the motor and everything and do another try you know you can do that if you have more time if you are repairing it you know working for the money or something if it's not like a, you just want to make it work it's a really really annoying thing to do it takes a lot of time and you're gonna no matter what you do your hands will be dirty but VDW40 can claim this. Maybe we should use VDW40 right now. <laughs> no, this is awful, but I have to do it. Now let's go back. Oh, I don't have cotton swabs here right now. I need to go back. I need to go in bathroom to pick up some cotton swabs. Not yet, not yet. They're still fighting. <laughs> so what's the deal? As much, the better you clean this shit, the better it's gonna be. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. I mean, I could put it right here, it's gonna work, but it's gonna work lousy. Especially if you're gonna order new belts and all that stuff, uh, then it's much better to, you know, find find the proper uh, clean it properly and then you know you, you're gonna you know like as you know what you did the thing is no matter how much you clean it it's you you will always have that you know <laughs> it's never gonna be clean enough <sighs> I hate this thing I hate it I hate small part that you need to be cleaned
Oh, it's better. Now I'm gonna use a little bit thicker, you know, stuff. Oh, it's good. Not so much. Mm hmm I think I did it. Not so much is staying there. Uh -huh, we got like a tiny little, but much better than it, <laughs> than it was, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. So then we're gonna be make be assured that this belt will be, you know, properly spinning. <laughs> it's tough. And because it's tough, I just want to make a video, long video, when I'm talking about how I'm cleaning this little shit. Because it's tough. So that's why you need to know why sometimes you're gonna pay, like, a lot of money for someone to clean your deck. This is it, basically deck that can be easily, you know, like, it's not that hard to get into it. Some of, it, of the decks are really hard to get into it. So what now? Now the problem is the belt. That small little belt. Uh, let's open our belt box and see what's inside. And I think I found a belt that should serve the purpose. It's a square belt. I think I, I would need maybe thinner than this one. Some people would try to use those ring belts. Uh, you can try to use them temporary, just to see if the deck is gonna work. Like this one maybe could be, or some other, if you can find, you know, like a, I tried to put it, but it's gonna be slippery. At least you can see if the deck is working, but this is for plumbers. This is not for the Casa Deck Repair. If you want your deck to work properly, you need proper belts, of course. And uh, the more, more the expensive the deck is, then you can, you know, find a way like, okay, if the deck is $300, maybe it's not bad to buy belts for 15, 20 bucks, you know, like that. But again, I did both a couple of times belts original and does, they don't fit. <laughs> like a two of them, they would fit, but the third is not fitting. That happened for this model. So I'm go gonna put this belt here. There are two like a guides or plastic parts here that you can hang your belt here. Can you see it? I put it on a wheel and then I hang it on these plastic parts here. Now I'm gonna, oopsie. <laughs> it just flew away. <laughs> so I have to do it again. This time I'm gonna be more careful to put it there and I'm gonna hold it then I'm gonna put this gear back here bam and let's hope this one will hold until I put back all this mechanism back and be careful when you put it back because of those switches on the top they need to fit those holes yeah and if everything is good, then it would be aligned. Now, it will not be aligned because have mode switch here that needs to be aligned. And I didn't align it before. I'm gonna go back and show you what I mean. This mode switch here. There is an arrow here. Small arrow that needs to be in line with this a line here. I don't know if my camera can zoom it. This little arrow on the top with need, needs to be in line with this one here. Now it's not. Now it's not. Now it is. Why? Because when I put, you see this, this thing here, it will go straight on this thing here. And if everything is good, 
it will be flat and you will be able to put your screws back again so I'm holding it doing it slowly I'm gonna look at it here to see if the thing is gonna go back properly something is holding it back let's see what is that Something is not right. Something, something. Let me check once again before I go. Ah, I see what's, what's the problem. This somehow was out of the proper position. It needs to be here. Oh, it's good that we, that we noticed that. That's why it wouldn't go properly back. Let's try again. So now putting back yes 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 and now it's fitting now everything is flattened and you can see that I did manage yeah 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 I did manage here to put that thing in a proper position it's very important to follow that. Now I'm just gonna hold it like this because now it's in the proper position. I'm gonna like this, hold it like this, and then I'm gonna screw back all of those first four long screws. One is back. The other one is coming. It's here, third third one is complaining but all right gotcha and the fourth one is coming here so that would be that part now I have to put that belt where it's supposed to be and that's not a complicated thing but I don't know if I have enough light I try to make an angle and and to just with my tweezers put it back on the wheel on the motor uh, that should work fine we'll see the only thing that I missed maybe I should lubricate that motor uh, a little bit it's a tough position, but I think I can make it. Mm -hmm. It's a very tough position. The best thing would be the, to remove all of it and then lubricate the motor. But hey, since I'm here, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to hold it in this position so not of the all can reach the belt or something, you know. Yes. Of course. We'll see how it's going to work, if it's going to work. I think it's going to work because the belt is fine. I see already that it has a lot of tension, which is very good. And that belt is also for rewind fast forward, but also for a open and close the uh, uh, casa deck door. So, okay, the belt is back. I'm just gonna wait for a second or two for that oil to get inside. And the old, one more thing, the, the other motor is here, which is basically rewind and fast forwarding that also can be lubricated there is a little bit of space there but let's see how it goes i think i don't have to i'm gonna check it out this is good this is good so far so good can i reach it that's my question if i can i'm gonna do it and I'm gonna see it right now. Yeah, I can reach it. Excellent. I'm gonna lubricate that motor too, because I was able to reach it. Why not? So I got all of my three motors lubricated. 
I got one belt replaced. Okay, what's next to do? Well, we have to put that plate back, metal plate. We have to hold it again. I'm gonna use my magnetic screwdriver, a magnetic, and I'm just gonna try to screw those four screw back. First, I'm gonna just put them back, and then I'm gonna tighten it up with another screwdriver because this one is not so uh, not so tough. I mean, this is my hobby. I already told you that it's not my profession or something. So if I do something wrong, don't be harsh. I know I did many stupid mistakes, but I don't care. You know, it's still, it's still not like I'm gonna be bankrupt because I did mistake with one cassette deck. <laughs> now I'm using this a little bit tougher screwdriver and then we know that this thing will be tight what's left now we have these two wheels uh, I would prefer to clean them right now before I put them back and that's why I kept my goo guns bottle still <laughs> in position because be be before I put them back I will use this you know like goo gone and I will uh, clean it like crazy I know it's stupid for many people someone would use VD40 whatever I, I, I realized the goo gone would remove some of it and it works for me after I do goo gun, there are no black marks on the wheels. Pinch rollers would be shiny and nice and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, of course, since they are here, you can use goo gun to clean the wheels. And then you can use alcohol to finish the job. And those wheels are not that dirty because you saw the, the belt was not totally in the goo. The flat belt, the, the other one, the small square, it was problematic, but we sold that. So we got all that shit right. It's a simple mechanism, <laughs> but functional. So if you made a mistake, you can make a mistake because the, the fat one will not be able to go here. It, it can only go here. That's why it's fat. And this is the, the other one. It can go here and it will be nice and smooth. You see, if you go put it here, it's gonna be wobbly. Wobbly because it's not appropriate. This one cannot go here anyway. So you can't make any mistakes. You can make mistakes with those, those two washers that I just did. All right, can you see both of them? They need to go back uh, before the, you know, like I'm just gonna put one here and I'm just gonna put the other one here. They're also, you know, like a different size so you can make mistake. What's left to put drop of oil here before I put them back? They said, on fast moving farts, farts, parts. <coughs> you put oil, if it's something moving slowly, then you put grease. So now we can put those things back, back. And to test it, we're gonna spin it, spin it, spin it like crazy. Yeah, this one can maybe even more, a little bit faster. This one is good. So now 
after I all did all that, I'm gonna put some isopropyl alcohol on my bounty paper and clean it again. Clean it again, Sam. Then we're gonna see what can we do about that belt. Uh, but yeah, I would like to put the belt now. So I'm going to check it out. What's left? It should be one belt like this. You see, it's not that fat. I think it's the four millimeters. We got some of the, some of the belts here. This one is fat, 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 fat. They're all fat. Oh my God. They're all fat. Uh -huh. There is one, there is not, but it's too big. Ah, uh -huh. there is one that is kind of cool. Let's see if that kind of cool, uh, it's fat. It's actually too wide. So, yeah, this is gonna be tricky, tricky thing, but I think I'll find something. There is one already that maybe can be contender <laughs> ah let's see let's see ah. oh yeah oh yeah that's the one it's the same kind but it's not that stretched that's the one you see i can use the old belts uh, to put it on the deck and then if it's working, we can order proper belts. And you can measure if the belt, uh -huh, if the belt uh, is too stretch, simple. If I do like this, if, if it goes back on the same size instantly, then it's good. If it go back in the same size slowly, then it's bad. So as long as it, as it goes back in, at the same size at the, after it was stretched, then it's kind of cool. But again, I prefer if you can buy original belts, that would be the best thing to do. I mean, it's better than the one that was there, but it's still not, oh, it's good. There are a lot of tension there. I'll keep it. And this one is kind of the one that I want to talk about. We have one more belt to install, very small belt that goes from here to here. But the thing is, uh, I'm just looking if I can find it. I, I, I ordered some original belts and the kit was especially for this Casa deck, 670. And the belt that I got was so small that could only fit on this wheel. And it's supposed to fit on, on both of the wheels. And when I put it in the deck, that would simply not working, would stop working. Like, <laughs> like, no, this is not gonna work. Like, this is too tight. That would be the message. <laughs> I can't find it. I, I did want to show it off. And I think I put it in a special place. Oh, there it is. No. It is, it is. <laughs> it is. So this belt supposed to go like on this plate here, which is, I already having trouble to put it on, on here. And now I supposed to stretch it on the motor here. It's so, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, you tell me. I tried and it, it's not working. So I have to find some other solution, of course, with some Chinese, you know, stuff. Luckily I got a bunch of them, so maybe I'll find. I did find for my another, this belt should be a little bit, you know, wider. And I did find for previous 
Sony model that I've fixed and it was working just fine. So we're gonna check it out. And maybe I'm gonna order new belts but from some other seller because this one was like okay. Everything was like a, you know, I'm selling all the only belts like a proper you know like a store nothing like a chinese this that i paid like a 20 bucks for the belts man it's not that i paid five bucks and it didn't work huh who cares i want to fix the problem and if this is gonna work i'm stick with it stick with it all right I'll put this thing back. This is the proper place. Then we're gonna do the rest of it. The rest of it shouldn't be that much. But there is a, some, you have to put some work here, right? It's not like easy. It's not like 10 minute job. You have to put the disassemble all that stuff and put it back. It's easy to take the transport off the chassis. That was easy. But this part was like, uh, all right. You have to put that small belt, belt all there inside. And what if all, that, all this doesn't work after I'm finished? That would be the tragedy. <laughs> well, I would, I would have, I would like to say if, if this, job can fast forward rewind play tapes i would say i'm i did some good job and then we have to test it the speed you know is it working fine is it wobbly how's the capstans this and that i mean it's, it's kind of looking good so we're gonna put this back. I'm not explaining everything, right? But you see, I put it back because now I can finish the, you know, putting back the, 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 the other stuff. So you can try to clean the stuff like a capstan and all this stuff right now, if you wanna. I mean, I don't mind to clean it when everything is done if, if it's working fine it's everything you know like uh, fine and dandy then i'm gonna clean it up <laughs> finish the job otherwise not yet <laughs> what's the point to clean everything if the deck is not working you know what i mean what does make difference if the head is clean and everything is clean if the deck is not working <laughs> Yeah, I should put also those washers, which are protecting the oil that I just put to come back and, and be, you know, to go on the tape. So that's the reason why they are here. We're gonna clean those pinches later with alcohol. Right now I'm trying to put back the capstans, pinch rollers. All right, that was the, the problematic spring this goes back like here yeah and now this is a, the last thing no don't lose it don't lose it put it back screensaver don't turn screensaver yeah we'll have to adjust this thing later it's something like azimuth, but right now I think it's in a pre proper, proper and good condition. So let's put this thing back and try to finish this job. Maybe we can demonstrate if it's working. That would be very nice. I would like to see that as much as you, but sometimes things are not like perfect. Things are not working just fine. This time I tried to demonstrate how to disassemble all that stuff and to put it back together to replace. Of course, you would order original belts for your Casadec models. There are some other Sony Casadec models, three head 
the deck, the transport is similar like this. So I guess maybe if this video is successful, then you will be able to fix yours. That would be a charm because then if you have a, like a cassette deck that is working 100 box, after you fix it, then you maybe you'll have a cassette deck that it's working 300 box. <laughs> Or you just want your to play your tapes. <laughs> I just want man to play my tapes to record and play my old tapes. Totally fine. Uh, why is always the last part giving me any issues? And it's a spring break. All right. I guess we are done. I guess this transport is you know, like, uh, assembled. Now all I have to do is put it back in the chassis and test it. Okay, where is my mechanism? It's here, it's here. Let's do slowly, reverse mode, putting back. I don't know if they moved this trafo power transformer by the angle on purpose or that was i don't know but it's kind of easier like this to put it back and put it out let's see what's going on here ah i see i see okay a little bit jiggly dwiddly. now Let's see if it can fit properly. This looks good. Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna put those two screws back. Just to hold it while I'm doing all other stuff. You know what I mean. One is actually... I'll put two screws back. The other two are course from the bottom you have to put it back from the bottom but since we are here let's do this yes yes yes, yes. now three flat cables they are not flat but almost like flat put it back put it back Click, click, click. <sighs> I hope this all is gonna work. Otherwise, I'm wasted your and mine time. <laughs> Not really. It's explaining how to fix all that stuff. The three more for the head. One goes here. Of course, they're all different. The red is red, white is white. Small is small. Mm -hmm. Good, good. And the last one. Where are you going? Forget this one. Oh, here you go. That would be all. Make those wires neat. And I don't think that I can do anything else. All it's left is, you know test now I don't think he's gonna be able to perform open and close in that position so I'm gonna put it in this one ah uh, it's opening the door I don't know if you can see it which is good then I'm gonna try to first to I'm gonna put those other screws back because it's very important for the transport to stay in horizontal way but this is a good sign at least we know that uh, you know open close motor is doing its job now if we can get it to fast forward and you know rewind and maybe even play that would be even better that would be really something <laughs> oh yes 
All right, let's see how that goes. I know you can't see it right now, but I'll tell you if it's working or not. Fast forward is working, rewind is working, playback. I don't know, it's working, but I don't see the, ah, now I see the levels. I don't know if the tape is recorded or not, but chicken, chicken, winner, dinner, this is gonna work. I need to address a couple of more things, but this is gonna work. The usual sucks suspects. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> Can you see it? The deck is working, man. We fixed it. What I need to address is this. The switchers that I mentioned before are a little bit dirty. You see, they are switching from the type two to type four. I mean, when it's, the deck is playing, it's okay. But when it's stopping and stuff like that, when it's opening and closing the mechanism, which is now cannot be open, you will see that it's flashing a little bit. You see, flash, flash, flash. That needs to be cleaned, but otherwise we got to, we fixed another one. I mean, it's working. I'm gonna order a couple of more belts and I'm gonna put like um, the, the, the closest to the original that you can get, but I know it's working right now. That's my, the goal, the goal was to fix it. And we are, it's done. Beautiful. All right, guys. I hope you learned something and you will fix yours with these instructions. If you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe. Take care.